how to cook a low and slow chili con carne. Hello everyone, my name is James Howe and this is Chef at Home. This series of videos is designed to make your tea time a hell of a lot simpler. Whether you're still going out to work, you're working from home, you're homeschooling, whatever the situation is, chances are, over this past year, you found yourself ordering takeaways a little bit more than you perhaps would or should. So all these dishes are things you can do the night before, the morning of, on your lunch hour, you can just chuck them on and forget about them until tea time. So in today's video, I'm gonna make some chili con carne and I'm gonna serve that with some rice and some easy homemade nachos. And just like always, all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using today are gonna to be in the description below. So if you're unsure of what I said at any point, just have a look down there, that should see you right. And before I move on, if this is the first time you've come across me and my amazing production values, let me know what you think in the comments. Give me a subscribe if you're feeling generous. But anyway, let's crack on, shall we? Okay, so onto the prep. The first point is how we're actually gonna be cooking this stuff. So for today, I'm using two pans. I'm gonna prep with one and use the other as a slow cooker. Chances are, if you've clicked on this title, you've got a slow cooker, you wanna know what to do with it. But for those that don't, I'm gonna show you that it's just as easy to use a pan. You don't need to go out and buy another bit of equipment. Good old fashioned pan, do the trick just fine. So the first thing we need to do is prepare the base for the chili. This is gonna be a vegetable base using the idea of a mirepoix and just adapting it. If you're not sure what I mean by a mirepoix, it's basically just diced vegetables. But I'll go into it in a bit more depth in my how to cook masterclass series. So go check out that playlist on the channel if you wanna know a bit more. First thing, we're gonna dice an onion. And then the celery and carrot. Now what makes life a little bit easier here is that with this particular dish, I don't want to chop it too fine. I want the vegetable to retain a little bit of texture. So pan on, medium heat, a little bit of oil, and in you go. Then while that's doing its thing, I'm going to crush two, three cloves of garlic. I use three because there's a couple of little ones. You can do more or less, it depends how strong you like it. Just chop that down a bit and bang that in. Then two more bits. I'm going to dice up the pepper. Just like before, I'll leave them a bit chunky. And they can go in as well. Last but not least, of course, we need a chili. Seeds in, seeds out, that's entirely up to you. It's all about your preference. And then just a quick shred of them. And in they go. Let that do its thing for a couple of minutes. Pro tip, before you do anything else, wash your hands before you touch your eyes, your face, because it will sting like hell. So after a few minutes, the vegetable base is gonna be getting nice and soft. Pull that over here for a second. So we're gonna add some more flavor in there now. I'm gonna go with a little bit of smoked paprika, a couple of tablespoons worth, a little bit of ground coriander, again, about a teaspoon, and a few crushed chili flakes, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper. Back on for another couple of minutes. In two, three minutes, when the vegetables are nice and soft, the spices started to cook out, out of this pan and into your bigger pot. Slow cooker or otherwise. And same pan, back on the heat. Splash more oil. Then into that pan with some mince. Give it a bash about, get it separated. So all we're doing now is just browning off that mince, but at the same time sealing in that vegetable juice and flavour and that spice flavour that was left in the pan. So now that's browned off, there you go. And keep hold of this pan, we'll use it in a second. Now into the chilli, a tin or two of chopped tomatoes. Give that a good stir around. If it's not quite above the level of the meat, and I mean by a centimetre, a half centimetre. Top it up with a little bit of water. And then about a tablespoon's worth of tomato puree. Lid on. Now I'm just gonna leave that on the lowest light on my hob for around about four or five hours. If you're using a slow cooker, probably take a little bit longer, more six to eight area. Now while you're waiting, quick wipe out of that pan and we can prepare with the rice in this. So we're washing now up yet. Do two to one with your rice and you can't go far wrong. So one part rice, two parts water. Just a little bit of extra flavor, just break in a stock cube. And then just flick that pan on about 20 minutes before you're ready for dinner. Now while we wait for those bits, I did promise you some easy cheat nachos. So I've just got a couple of tortilla wraps. All I'm gonna do, cut them in half, half again, half again. Grab yourself a tray. Very small splash on the bottom of the tray of oil. Yeah, just lay on your chips. I mean, you could just buy these from like big Tesco or something for about 25p. But where's the fun in that? Splash of oil over the top. Good hit, salt. 
a little bit of pepper. Oven at 200, three to four minutes. Now my chili's been simmering away now for about four hours, and there's just a couple of things that I need to put in it. And those couple of things are, got some drained kidney beans, in there you go. You can use any beans you like, really. Now, this is where I might lose you, but trust me, it works. Leave it out if you want, but it works. About half a dozen cubes of some nice dark chocolate. Allow them to melt in. Absolutely stunning. The final 20 minutes, I'm gonna switch on my rice, and then we'll be ready to serve. Now ready to plate up, gonna keep things nice and simple. Some of that lovely rice, some of that lovely chilli. Nice little stack of nachos. Good blob of sour cream. And finish it off, some lovely chopped chives. So there you have it guys, the perfect slow cooked chilli con carne. It only costs about six quid to buy everything in. I've got enough there for another three, four portions, probably more. And it really is just so damn tasty. I hope this helps you out and enables you to make tea time that little bit easier. Next week in this series, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a super biryani. If you wanna watch that, make sure you hit subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.